In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do the jumbo fans, and these fans are actually quite significant in size, and uh, will make your project go really fast. Now you'll notice with these uh, jumbo fans, there's actually one side and another, and the fans are always created in the same direction, therefore they look uniform on either side. So both sides of the, the blanket or the afghan will look different uh, because of that fact. So one of the lines, you're going to be creating all your fan shaping, and then the next line that you'll do is all the lines lines in between which is kind of like your mini holiday so you have your labor intensive fans and then your mini holiday and then your labor intensive fans again so let's get started the on this fan tutorial. consists of 12 stitches so it takes 12 stitches to go from one side of the fan to the other so it, no matter what you want to do you want to keep it in groups of 12 so let's uh, start on with the hook we don't count that one so let's count the first one so one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So there is your first one there. So if you want another one, just keep going and just go your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So just keep going to the, get to the length that you want and at the very end, please add 1. So at the very end, please add one, and that will get you started. So go as long as you want to, and we're going to show you in the next day a few steps on how to get what you see. Okay, in so the now we're going to begin going back in the other direction. This is probably the hardest row of them all is getting it all started up. So we want to go second from the hook. So this is one, and this is the second, right? So we're just going to go back, and we're just going to wrap our material and go right into that stitch for a double crochet. Pulling it through, then you'll have three on your hook, then two, and then two. So now we need to establish the center point of these fans and we're going to do that through quadruple crochet. So what we're going to do, let's wrap, wrap and wrap and wrap. So we're going to wrap that three times. So I would say wrap and wrap and wrap in my head. And we now want to count over to the six available. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's like, wow, what a long way to go. But that's just what we're going to do. And now we're going to just pull through two, 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 and two. So we need to do that 13 times in that center point. So let's again do that. So wrap and wrap and wrap. So you can see that three times going in, pulling the material through, and pull through two, 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 and two. So continue to do that until you get 13 of them and uh, we'll just speed up the video for time uh, savings and uh, just put this video on pause until you get to that point then. So let's get 13 of these bad boys done. So now we're going to begin to do our fan stitching going in the other direction and we have already done up our one because I had to do it before and now we're just going to go second from the hook. So not this one but that one and we're just going to wrap our material and double crochet into that stitch to start with. So now we're going to begin to do, while well, I finish that, we're going to begin to do the actual fan shapes itself and we need to get to concentrate on the center point of your material. So this is a quadruple crochet, so wrap and wrap and wrap, so you get end up four on your hook before you jam it in. And now we're going to look for the six empty, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Oops, shoot. So now we're going to begin and we're just going to, we're now going to begin and we're just going to double crochet ourselves into the second from the hook. So not this one, but this one. So wrapping the material, going right into that first stitch, grabbing the material, pulling it through. Oh, sugar. So now we're going to start going in that direction. So we're going to just wrap our material and going into the very first stitch that we can find. So it's not this one, but obviously that one. It's the very first one. And we're going to double crochet ourselves into that spot. We're now going to start doing the, the fan shape. And so we have to count over to the sixth empty one. 
So let's wrap and wrap and wrap. So this is a quadruple crochet and now grabbing the chain, we're gonna count and gotta count to the six empty ones. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So getting that, just stick your uh, hook into the sixth stitch. And you notice I didn't let go of this hand so that it wouldn't unwrap. We're wrapping it through. And now we're gonna uh, quadruple. So two, two, okay, two. So you just wanna keep doing the twos until you get right back to the end like so. So let's do that again. So we're gonna wrap and wrap and wrap. Okay, so you should end up with uh, four on your hook before you go in pulling your material through, and then two, 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 and two. So you should end up with four twos in the end. So let's do it again, we'll wrap and wrap and wrap, going in, pulling it through, pull through two, 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 and two. So let's keep doing that. You end up, you need 13 of these in total. So this one is just the bottom chain, so you need to do a total of 13. So I'm gonna uh, skip ahead on the video, and I'll get my 13 done off camera, and then we'll meet back up where we'll do I our next I have my step. 13 on here, and you'll notice that there is stress being applied to the very first chain, which you actually could lose a couple stitches in that stress point. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna just um, be able to adjust a bit. It actually looks like when you do this that you're actually missing two stitches, and you are. So when we go to count now, we're gonna actually compensate for that by doing a fake count. So let's uh, wrap our material and count over to the fourth empty one. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna double crochet ourselves in the spot. So we should have technically uh, done more than that, but because this stress point is pulling up, up and around the U-shape, it's hard to be able to get it right on. So I would suggest you fake it. So let's uh, begin. We're going to do their next secondary fan, as you can see over here, and we're going to wrap and wrap and wrap. And again, I'm going to hold it with my finger, and we're now going to count to the six empty ones. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And so when you're now looking at this, you want to make sure that you're going to have enough material on the end of your of your line. For example, if you're over here and you're putting in a six, you know that if you go to do that. Um, the circle, it's actually going to be following off the line. So the first line, because of the stress of this particular pattern that I am teaching you, is that you might have to compromise right on the very first line. So that kind of sounds kind of unprofessional, doesn't it? But you know what, with crochet, things are, are what they are, and string doesn't always behave like it should. And uh, yeah, so let's keep on going. We're going to do 13 of these bad boys again in the center point of this. So let's uh, fast forward the camera again, and I'll meet you back up when we get our 13 done, and I'll show you how to finish off and this welcome line. back. We just finished the next fan. So technically, you should have a six left in here in order to finish off, but you can see that the stress point of pulling around like that can cause that to be distorted. So just like we did before here, we put in a, uh, a double crochet. We're gonna finish off with a double crochet as well. So going into the very last stitch available, go through two and two and then you can just finish that bad boy off so it's very simple you know sometimes you have to improvise and this is one of those stitches so it kind of looks like it's malfunction like it's malformed right now but once we get the next rows up you'll see that it will pull back together and now that we're doing this kind of pattern the next line when we are is very simple when we're going across so the fans will actually be all created in the same direction therefore they're all look uniform on both sides so one side of your blanket will look different than the other because of that fact so let's go on to your now just going to turn your material and we're going to chain up. 